So today we're going to look at increase or decrease by a percentage. So what do these things mean? So increase means we need to have more, decrease means we have less. Now there are three steps to calculating this. Step one, decide if you're increasing, so you add, or decreasing by percentage. Once you figure that out, you can convert your percentage into a decimal by moving the decimal point two places. Now, and then the last step, you just multiply your decimal into your amount. And don't forget the units. So let's have a look at the question. AirPods Pro, which normally cost $399, are on special student discount of 15% off. So when we say discounts, it means we are going down, or in other words, take away. So instead of paying 100% of the amount, we are paying 15% less, so minus 15%, which means that's how much we pay, 85%. Now, 85% can be written as a decimal by moving the decimal point twice. So we have 1, 2. We have 0 0.85. So that's how much we pay for the, uh, the item. So we take that amount, that fraction, that portion, times the dollar amount, and we get how much we're actually paying. So this is a little bit different from how you do it in uh, when you're in primary school where you work out the discount and then subtract it. This way, we just multiply by the fraction that we're paying for and we get the answer straight away. So let's try this again. So I copy that notes down, pause if you have to. So let's have a look at the next one. Maybe I'll change pen color so it's a little bit darker. A car costs $45,000 and it's increased by 9%. So increase means we want to pay more. Not that we want to, but we have to pay more. So what percentage do we have to use? If we have 100% and we increase, that means we're adding the 9%. So now we have to pay a total of 109%. Now we don't like writing this fractions, we're going to use a decimal in instead. So 109%, move the decimal point twice. We're going to use the fraction as 1.09. Now we use that fraction and we multiply it by the amount we're looking at. So 45,000, 45,000. And if we get a calculator out, so 45,000 times, oops, Let's see, gotta move me times 1.09 and we get zero five zero dollars, which is more than what the car initially cost, and usually the case if you don't save enough money. Let's have a look at the third example. Miss Boone had too much bubble tea and has increased her weight from 50 kilograms to 53 kilograms. So we have increase this time. Uh, we have kilograms in kilograms. So where is our percentage? Uh, write Miss Wong's weight increase as a percentage of our regional weight correct to one decimal place. So what does that mean? In step one, we have to figure out, uh, find the increase. So we have 53 kilos minus 50 kilos. We have gone up by three kilograms. That's how much we have increased. Now we have to convert that as a percentage over the regional amount. So we use it as a fraction, three over original amount. The original amount is 50. And as a percentage means we multiply by 100%. So now putting that into the calculator, well actually we don't have to. Why don't we have to? Well, there's pretty numbers here the 100 and the 50 cancel out and now we have 3 times 2 is 6%. So Miss Wong has gone up by 6% of her weight. Now you can, you can finish here, copy these notes down or you can continue with the video and have a look at how to increase and decrease by percentage. We can practice these. So let's look at increase first. If I want to increase by 10%, that means 100 plus 10 is 110. 
write that as a decimal, we have 1.10. Now, 5% increase means 100 plus 5. We have 105%. Move the decimal point twice. We have 1.05 as our decimal. 2.3% increase means plus. We have 102.3. Move the decimal point twice. 1, 2. So now we have 1.023 as our decimal to work things out with. 0.5%. I'm going to write smaller, getting too many zero. 0.5 equals 100.5%. Move the decimal point twice. 1, 2. Be very careful when you copy. 1.005. That's our new decimal. This is a tricky one. When you increase by 100%, it means you actually double. You get 200. Move the decimal twice. You get 2, which makes sense. You multiply your original amount by 2. When you increase by 50%, you become 150%. Move the decimal point twice. You have 1.50. When you increase by 20.5%, we have 20.5 equals 120.5%. Move the decimal point twice. We have 1.205. Now, what happened when we decrease? Let's change numbers just to highlight that's a different thing. So when you decrease by 10%, it means you have 100 minus. When you decrease by 10%, it means you have 100 minus 10. So you have 90%. Writing that as a decimal point, we have 0 0.9. If you decrease by 5%, means we have 95%. Write that as a decimal point, 0 0.95. Decreasing by 2.3%, we have 90. Put that in the calculator, you will get 97.7%. Move the decimal point twice, we have 0 0.977. Decreasing by 0 0.5, we get 99.5% and move the decimal point twice, 0 0.995. Three more. Decreasing by 100% means you're left with zero. Decreasing by 50% means you're left with 50%, which is half of what you got. And decreasing by 20.5% means you're left with 79.5%. And our decimal point goes there, 0 0.795. So I hope these practices, you can do this or you can skip this. This is optional. This will help you when you need the decimal really quickly. And you can use this to work out the amount. So don't forget, let's just double check. You need the decimal multiplied by the amount to get the final amount. Okay, that's it.